people hold their beliefs very dearly and we think of our beliefs as you know very precious possessions or even aspects of us somehow so in that sense maybe all open-mindedness is personal a kind of openness to be influenced by someone seems like from a Christian point of view we should have that kind of personal open-mindedness and a willingness to to recognize that a, that persons may change for better or worse so how can a person become more open-minded? Are, are there things that we can do to, to cultivate this virtue? And I think there are. Uh, for starters, it's important to recognize your, your own fallibility and finitude. Um, <clears throat> there's only so much that any given person can know. Um, and all of us uh, nurse certain beliefs that must be false. You think about the Christian community and the, the disagreement within the Christian community, well-intentioned, intelligent people disagree on all sorts of issues uh, in terms of theological doctrine, moral beliefs, political beliefs. So just from a statistical standpoint, even if you're the smartest person in the world, uh, no doubt you are holding some beliefs that are false. To read broadly, you know, to expose yourself to alternative uh, points of view, perspectives, on all sorts of issues and uh, you know to actively seek out and be willing to converse with uh, people who are not like-minded um, and you know to really hear them to, to, to be a sympathetic listener uh, these are the sorts of things that I think can build a, a virtue of open-mindedness.